we're going to be talking about Intel doubling down on core counts and, and yeah. AI. Matt, you want to lead that one? Yeah. So to everybody's surprise, I mean, this was a big shocker. Um, Intel talked about a whole lot about AI at innovation. Who would have thunk, right? I know. Um, it's crazy. Who's talking about AI these days. Uh, I, I say that kind of uh, tongue in cheek, but I'm trying to get this it. guy. Sorry, guys. Don't That's worry okay. about me. Okay. You're good. You're Brady Bunch. <laughs> I I will say yes. this about I will say this about Gelsinger's um, Pat Gelsinger's keynote at Innovation. I felt like it was the it was the most real world application of AI that was demonstrated on stage. You know, a lot of these a lot of a lot of really interesting um, keynotes get thrown out there about AI, and you know, we go into theoretical and almost science fiction kind of um, storytelling, but I love the way he brought it to like everyday life. And he brought it along the entire portfolio from PCs to what they're doing, obviously in uh, accelerators and all the news around FPGAs getting spun out, um, but also on the server side too. That was a fantastic element. But what I really, what, what I think really, and I, I mean this seriously, surprised everybody was the announcement of uh, Sierra Forest, which they will uh, launch. It's the, it's the sixth gen, but they're not going to call it sixth gen um, Xeon processor that will get launched or announced in December uh, and will start shipping next year, um, having 288 cores, single threaded cores. Now, this is really significant for a couple of reasons. Um, as everybody who follows processors knows, you know, Intel has been kind of behind from a core count perspective relative to its competition, AMD, and um, the ARM ecosystem. Uh, Ampere is up to 192 now. So, you know, they and that's been a, in, in, in some ways, and not necessarily fairly so, a measure of where companies are on the innovation cycle uh, with regard to CPUs. So, um, you know, 288 cores, really big story, single-threaded, um, also a very big story. This is gonna do very well in the hyperscaler space. I'm kind of curious to see what they're doing from a uh, power management perspective to assure that uh, there is a consistency of performance across all 288 cores. Because if uh, if you can do that, it's easier to parallel parallelize workloads. And guess what? You might have um, you might have an inferencing part there as well. Um, so really good part. I think it's a really bold um, move that they've made. And again, even if you know. Even if you're more into CPUs and silicon and say that's not the full measure of, of a, a CPU, which it's not, it definitely shows that the Intel innovation engine is back. I mean, they, um, this, was a, this was a biggie. And, 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 and Pat, I know you were an audience, in the audience as well. I don't know if you had any thoughts on uh, what Pat Gelsinger was talking about. Yeah, so first off, I want to clarify um, that I know this is the data center podcast, but this is about Xeon. Mm -hmm. and not about core and not about anything else that uh, that right. they're doing. Yeah, I mean, I had questions. I have questions about memory bandwidth. I have questions uh, about power, and I think that will sort this in. But what I loved was, you know, they, they said that they had 144 cores, and then they, they said, oh, guess what? We have 288 now, and that's 576 threads. Most CSPs will turn that off. Uh, for most applications, particularly if they're paying paying by the VM, uh, but no, it was exciting. It kind of reminded me of an Intel that you know I knew 20 years ago. Which, by the way, when I was an AMD, it was an Intel that I saw and I didn't like. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's different now. But um, and on the AI side, um, they're starting to get credibility, right? Um, yeah, starting to get a, a ton of credibility. Um, in that they're winning business, you know, uh, on, I think it was two earnings ago, they said they had a billion dollars in backlog just with uh, Gaudi 2. And that yep. doesn't include the stuff being accelerated uh, on, on Xeon. So, you know, I think they have, um, I think they have some, I think they have some, some way to go. Uh, Paul, did, any quick takeaways from, uh, from the conference? Uh, I know you were there. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was really, really good. I, I, I'm, uh, I enjoyed uh, Pat's uh, presentation to uh, the fact that they're going after the AI market pretty heavily, but they're going after it in a different way, uh, going after it in terms of using uh, the smaller systems to train and inference uh, models. Uh, 
And that kind of looks like the way things are going to go. You can uh, you compare, you know, uh, training and inferencing with a uh, 7 billion parameter model versus uh, one with 175 billion. And there's a lot of difference and it's a lot more manageable at the uh, enterprise level. You don't have to have these huge models. So I think, I think they're going to do well. I see them along with NVIDIA and AMD as, as being a player uh, out there. Um, and I think it's going to be increasingly hard for the smaller companies who have burnt too much cash uh, in this space. You know, yeah. we saw Mythic uh, go under uh, GraphCore, I think is going to be in a, in a cash crunch. Heck, some companies haven't even, haven't even created a, a production chip yet, like Tens Torrent. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe Tenstorn has you know watched their cash uh, a lot. Uh, Grok is winning businesses at Department of Defense uh, places uh, like this, mm -hmm. and uh, Cerebrus has a super unique wafer wafer scale. It's literally like 13 inches uh, big, where you know they're putting memory and compute on on the die itself. So I like to call it a cluster cluster on a wafer which yeah. uh, is, is a very novel way to do that, but they're not selling chips, they're selling entire fleets of systems. But interesting stuff. It's great to see some competition and uh, some other companies uh, winning some business.